Good morning. I'm doing a Saturday follow along. I'm hitting the auction and then I'm going to pick up Samantha and Chloe, my daughter and granddaughter. And then Samantha and I are going to go shopping later on tonight. So I figured I'd just take you along. It's going to be a long day and I'll take you along and uh, we'll see what trouble, well, hopefully no trouble, but we'll see what we'll get into. So let's go. So this is what I'm really interested in right here. They're old post office boxes. And you can see there's a couple of them. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? Let me see. How sturdy these are. Hmm. I think one of those could go home with me. There's five of them, plus that piece. This is pretty, too. It's like the perfect height. Uh, Mark would kill me. <laughs> but it's nice. A little wonky in the drawers, but not bad. But it's just like the perfect height though. You can put stuff up there and actually see it. Well, we're about two hours into this auction. I bought two things. $9, $8 or vice versa. It's just a box of Christmas stuff. Nothing in here, but it could be down in here. There's a little bit of everything. Maybe, maybe not. Six-piece pen set. Well, used to be. Um, candle ring. There's some stuff down in there. And then over here looks handmade and then this is what attracted me to it were these uh snowmen or can just stick them together so they're candy jars candy filled mr snowman so i'm waiting for them to go down the other side i'm moving my chair because i'm getting hot and my sunscreen's wearing off but i did get a chalkboard and also a gate <laughs> couldn't do with it but i wanted to chalkboard and the gate came with it all right so let me uh head on back and move my chair and hopefully i can get that uh little sewing box i want well i'm out of the auction um i got outfit on everything i wanted i'm cruising back home actually i think i'm gonna go to goodwill i think i go pee really bad they had porta potties and i just wasn't feeling the porta potty so uh I'm good though. I only drank half a bottle of water. About three hours into the auction, yeah. Oh yeah, three hours. And uh, still going strong and I got outbid and I now bid on like a, a cotton box and I took it up to 140, 130. They, they bid 140. And I did not get it. And then some other things I wanted. That, uh, that cabinet, if I remember, um, that one for, oh gosh. 300 um i don't remember because i knew i wasn't going to be able to get it so anyways i'm on the back roads back country road this is where my dad's from this area he's out past the springs so like he was raised back there and then my mom was raised closer to somerset county but um anyways i spent 18 dollars big spender i got a buck of worth of linens in a box and then you saw me I got the chalkboard and that gate and then I got the Christmas stuff and everything else what well, a lot of it was I don't know I'm running out of room to put things I have big plans for my stuff don't worry but it is I feel like when I get like that crunched in the junk you know I call it fondly junk um I feel like I, I, I need to limit my spending so that we're, we're limiting our spending for other reasons as well but that will all come out in a future video and hopefully soon because we've been working on it all summer long but uh anyways I'm gonna go past the Springs Resort Bedford Springs it once upon a time in its heyday used to bring the presidents in this is where they would come spend their summers at I forget which presidents 
Um, there's a book that sits at my mom's house. Now, my, my mom's didn't, dad's deceased, but my daughter lives there, and it's about Bedford County history, and it sits right there beside the toilet, so everybody can read it when they come to visit. And it talks about which presidents came out to the springs and stayed, and so there's that. Uh, and now, and then it kind of dilapidated. When, when I left, I left here in 1990 when I went into the Navy. So I've been gone 30 plus years. I just came back. And uh, in the meantime, Omni Resorts bought out the springs and redid it. They closed off the free spring where you used to be able to go get water because you know, town water is so coordinated that we would come out here with jugs and get spring water and you made your coffee out of it and you drank it and you kept a jug in the fridge and you kept 10 in your kitchen so they closed that off greedy greedy uh, people so you can't even get free water so if you're going to get water you go back to Stanley's tub and uh, spring water that is but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go past there and then I, yeah I told you I think I'm gonna go to Goodwill yeah so I'll check back in with you in a minute so we're approaching the springs. They have a nice golf course. I'm gonna show you the old spring that they placed off it's up here. I think you can still see the uh, brick wall where the water comes through, but they have it capped off. There's the old spring right there. Yep. Took the water away. Don't let us have any good times with it anymore. Now we gotta drink contaminated water. Or should I say treated water? It's probably not really contaminated. And there's the springs. Now my dad used to work out here once upon a time. And he would talk about, they would carry food over. You could sit over on the right side under the veranda and eat. And he said, you get your food over there. And the people wanted condiments so he had to walk back and get condiments <laughs> yeah but it's uh it's massive and you can go right online and see how much rates are and and whatnot there's walking paths they decorate it pretty nice for the holidays i don't i, don't, I try to avoid this part you know coming through here uh this is all new and they took out all that rock and then um, so the road I usually take is just up up through there and to avoid the mess to avoid the yuppies the hoity toity people and now I'm going to head back or head down to Goodwill oh, Goodwill's hopping today so I'm just going to look really quick look I only got a hand cart so I don't overbuy. We got lots of Halloween in. Lots. Gnomes. Huh. So in their Jacob section. Yeah, these little Halloween party invites are a dollar. But they only have Dracula. It's a witch. She isn't very attractive. I was hoping they'd have kitty. Kitty ones. I just messed up the whole display. Then they have these, or three dollars though. They light up. Three bucks. Kind of cute though, aren't they? They have like a plastic. Like you would get on the old uh, reflectors on your bicycle. They have the skull, the cat, and the pumpkin. Today's the last blue tag day, but this is green, and I like it because why? There's little mini bells right there. And they have new trees and mini drums for four dollars. I think I'll get that. Let me see if they have anything else. Silverware. That's so heavy on the grab bags. I'll show you real quick the holiday section. There was people here. They walked away. So I want to try to sneak in here. A dollar for two packs of twist. Treat bags, Hallmark, Party Express, three designs. That's tempting. That is so tempting to get. I don't 
don't need them though. Yeah, I do, but I don't. Look at all this holiday stuff. But most of it's just massive and taking up a lot of room. So I'm not going to probably hang out here and I'll keep moving. More Christmas trees for 99 cents and no snowmen. I'll take those. Boy, Green Tag's got it going on this Saturday. Alright, I don't see anything else. Look at that. They have this whole box. The floors wire in the packaging for ten dollars i think i'm gonna get that it's very heavy and what i don't keep for myself i can easily sell i mean it's vintage wow so it's the, probably the better stuff than the cheapy stuff you can buy today so let me uh grab that i'm just looking real quick in the scrapbooking section Ooh, i always get a little lightheaded when i stand Dollar for that floral foam. I don't think I need any though. I have quite a bit. A little few cat shower rings. Hmm. <laughs> I don't see anything else right away, so I guess I'll keep moving on. Where are you going? A sleepover at Maisie's. She's got her stuff. She's ready to go. Yep. Mommy. Yeah, babe. And if you want to see more of Chloe, check out my other channel, Cat and Paws, because there's a summer uh, vlog that will be going up. And she does a special project. So our first stop is Ross's. Let's see what they have. Of course, I went for the Halloween stuff and then I forgot I was making a video. See what they have. They have all the cute doggy costumes. Aww. You can make your doggy have wings. You know, Samantha has chihuahuas. She's looking at stuff. It's a big paws. Some Halloween real quick. Nine bucks. Oh, this is Rasa, so usually they're a little bit less. Oh, that's cute. For nine. I'm here looking for Johanna Parker. Hmm, haven't found anything yet. Oh, soap dispenser six. Happy Halloween. Nice oversized mug. It's only four. Three ninety nine. You don't do Halloween, they do have some fall stuff. I already sniffed this as autumn leaves, but look it's five wicks. Why? You'd burn it in no time. It smells good though. They want eight. Smells good. Um, I'm not a big like, what's the one? Uh, leaves by Bath and Body Works. This one's $6.99. They're uh, really like marble, I guess. Boy, where's my words at today? Yes. Spectrum, $4. Get a set of four. I broke another one of my bowls. Broke two of them, actually. Actually, I put vinegar in them. And teeth got sprayed by the skunk. And it ruined them. I tried to run them through the dishwasher. They just never, they just never repaired. So now we're in Home Goods, browsing the shelves. Got some really cute things. You know, I was looking at this. It's like twice now I've looked at this. And they want, I think, $6.99. $9.99 mud pie. It'd be cute to put like your sugar in, but then after Halloween, you gotta put it away. I like these little uh, ramekin dishes. They're $4.99. I think that was jack o' lanterns. Yeah. They even printed it in the inside. 
could do without the cobwebs though. What else do they have here? Napkin rings. Uh, mortar and pestle. Oh, I well, didn't see this little baby candy corn. Oh no. I wonder what this goes to, Samantha. There's no price on it. It goes to that ghosty. It does? Because mm -hmm. look, like, there's another one right down there. Where? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's glued on there. So, oh, it broke off. I see. For $17. Well, I take the one that's broken off because it's cuter that way. Just the glue came off. Kind of like that. That's cute, but you could put cookies on it. What is this? Eat, drink, and be thankful. For, hmm. Don't know. Oh, nine ninety nine. These up here are the ones that best thankful back there. Yeah, so having a good time shopping. We're getting ready to go eat next. Coaster set. $14.99. I love turkeys. I know a lot of people don't think they're very pretty, but they're just so fun. Look at that one. You can put butter in there for Thanksgiving. Or hide your cupcakes so no one knows it's there. How much is he? I didn't even look. $10. Head up through this Halloween now. See if there's anything good. $8 for the skull salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I like the big wooden trick or treat sign. That's cute. For $12.99. Quill to paper. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. That's cute. I don't know where to put it. Oh, it's tempting to get. Oh my gosh, you're like dragon. Oh, wow. Goofy looking. Oh, down there? There's like a oh, yeah. thing. That's I see, and the copper kettle down there? Yeah. Oh, look at that hat. I'm finally home. I dropped Samantha off to her house. Chloe's at her sleepover, and I was just going to show you a couple of things I picked up. So I know this is a vintage channel, but I uh, just wanted to take you along on my Saturday. It's been a long one. It's been over 12 hours. been out running around. I did get these at uh, Home Goods. Aren't these just the cutest? Very uh, retro looking. My mind's eye paper plates. So I got that, and I got these for inspiration. So I like to probably use them for just some idea to make some, you know, cake toppers or cupcake picks or whatever have you. And, you know, I love the Joanna Parker stuff and I did find uh, some of her dish towels with the terry cloth backing, which is nice. And I think her moon is called uh, Luna. And then, um, I got these baking cups, crafty inspired, and then I did get a new purse because my old purse broke. So I'll switch over to that one. And then I got some other stuff. Samantha gave me her Yankee Candle flyer. I never got one. I got a couple of things at Dollar Tree, just um, a planner for next year. I keep my YouTube stuff in there. And I didn't know they carried air dry clay. I got two of those and then I got some glitter and uh, these are for Chloe for her birthday because she likes these little rhinestones. She's always taken mine and I just found a couple the other day that stuck to my socks. This is a Johanna Parker cookie jar. There's the bottom half and the top half is wrapped over here.
top of it. I'll show you real quick. Oh my, so cute, so cute. Uh, I think this is $20. And I have also some of the mugs, so I'm very excited about that. Her stuff is getting harder to find. A couple years ago, I found a few pieces. Now I can, I haven't even found mugs yet. And then, let me move stuff. I got a blanket for a birthday gift. So I won't pull that out, just so no one knows where I'm, who I'm getting it for. And then I got these, this is at Ross. I got these, uh vintage inspired mugs they were the topper and they were $5.99 each so that was Ross I don't think I got anything else there did I oh wait I'm starting early on my trick-or-treat candy 22 spooky mix Swedish fish and sour patch kids for $2.99 I asked Samantha I said do you think that's a good deal she said yeah we had over i think like 275 kids we probably would have had over 300 but we ran out of candy so i'm starting early and it's good it doesn't expire until march so i don't eat this stuff um i'll put it away for halloween night for the treat night and then my last bag is in here back to tj maxx this metal bin is from the family reunion. I just picked it up from Samantha's. So, yes, I have a sweet tooth. I got these Sander Small Batch Wonders bins, milk chocolate, sea salt caramels. They had this in the milk chocolate and as well as in the dark chocolate. I don't do dark chocolate. Uh, $4.99. And, oh, I forgot to check the expiration date. Always important. Oh, September 24. I think I did check it because I remember that date. And also, I got a candle. From Slatkin. Homeworks. Hot Cider Donut. For Wick. So, I paid 12 Oh, I'm sorry, $16.99. He used to be the one who designed Bath & Body Works white barn candles. And then he moved on, and now he does QVC. I don't know the whole story behind that. I really don't care, honestly. But um, that's everything I got. We actually stopped in at Bath & Body Works as well. But I didn't buy anything. Um, we stopped in at Five Below, didn't buy anything. And then we went to eat, and I just dropped her off. So, <sighs> what a day. So like I said, I'm home. And I'm going to go put my pajamas on. I feel kind of like sticky and stinky because I've been at this all day. Started with the auction at nine this morning and um, I'll throw a screenshot up of the time right now. Hmm. Yeah. If I could do coffee at night, I would, but I don't dare because then I won't be able to go to sleep tonight. And I've been up, you know, I set the alarm early this morning. So uh, that's all I got for now. I hope everyone is having a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.